Angelo Misano Ramirez from BTL ADHE 2A. I'm going to discuss all about what is Edmoro and why Edmoro is important to all of the educators, and I will teach you on how to sign up with the Edmoro app. When you hear the word Edmoro, what comes in your mind? Edmoro is a free online classroom that resembles the Facebook interface. This is user-friendly because its functionality is almost similar to Facebook. Edmoro provides an avenue for the individual students to teacher communication. Teachers can do also quiz and homework with the automated checking and recording. The website provides gradebook options, immediate feedbacking, parent monitoring, planner and add co-teachers, and more teachers, and etc. According to the article published by Global Newswire last March 18, 2020, Edmodo is among the world's largest and most active learning communities with over 100 million registered users. Covering approximately 400,000 schools in more than 190 countries and regions. Edmodo was an educational technology platform for K-12 schools and teachers. Edmodo enabled teachers to share content, distribute quizzes, assignments, and manage communications with students, colleges, and parents. Why Edmodo good for teachers and all of the educators? With Edmodo, instructors can provide students access to an academic social network without fa forcing them to merge their private and academic worlds. Edmodo fuses classroom management tools with the affordance of a modern social networking website to provide an enhanced educational networking experience. What is the importance of Edmodo? Edmodo's platform is based around groups with a common interest or purpose, such as a classroom learning community. Edmodo provides a secure and private environment. The administration or teachers invites the members of the group. This controls who can interact with the members of the group. You can download the Edmodo app at Apple App Store if you are using iOS phone device or Google Play if you are using an Android device. For PCs, you can get it from Microsoft. If you don't have the apps, you can still access the Edmodo app by opening the Google Chrome browser. Please watch this clip on how to sign up with the Edmodo app. To sign up, type edmodo.com in the address bar, click sign up, click teacher account if you are signing up as a teacher, enter your email and password, and click create account. On the next page, indicate your complete name and click next. If you are signing up as a student, same process but click student account. Supply the necessary information that is being asked and click create account. If you are signing up as a parent, same process but click parent account. In the Philippines, both the mobile number and email ad are being asked to create an account. In other countries, it only needs one of these information. What if a parent has a child with several Edmodo classes or a parent has several kids with Edmodo classes? They can be accommodated in only one parent account in Edmodo. No need to sign up for multiple accounts. Just add all of them in the parent account. But please do take note that each class or child has a specific parent code to protect confidentiality of records of other students. To add up a student or classes in the parent and module account, simply click this icon. Then enter the code of that class. The parent code is available from their own child. The parent code will be generated 
after the student sign up for an account. Here is an example of a parent code generated after a student sign up for an account. There is an exclusive Edmodo app for parents. This app is designated for easy browsing and access of information about their child in the Edmodo class. The app can be downloaded in Google Play for Android devices and Apple App Store for iOS devices. After signing up, do not forget to verify your email so that you will be notified of any update in Edmodo class via email. To create a class in Edmodo, click this icon. Enter the information and click Create. If your class spans multiple grade levels, select Range and set the range of grade levels. If you are setting up your Edmodo class before meeting your students and you still do not have any information about them, skip Add Students. Choose Explore Class instead. Anyway, there is another way on how you can invite members in your class which I will discuss in a while. This is the class code that you can give to your students so that they can join your Edmodo class. Click the Invite button. The code in the Edmodo class will be highlighted. You can generate the PDF file containing the step-by-step -step guide for students and parents on how to join Edmodo and you can invite them via their email. If you are dealing with students at higher grades or college and postgraduate, you can just let them be the one to join class. Just give them the class code. Just like in Facebook, you can also edit your profile. Select the profile icon and then to update your profile picture, click the profile option in the drop-down menu. Choose update photo and then verify your password. Choose the file that you would like to display. Then click update and after this, click confirm. You can also edit and update information about you that can be found in your profile. To check the list of members in your class, simply click the members icon. Through the list of members, you can check which student's parent have not yet joined the Edmodo class. If the Connect Parent button is not visible anymore beside the name of the student, then his or her parent already joined the class. To post announcements and share materials, it is similar on how you post materials in Facebook. Click this area. You can type the text here. You can even include attachments like GIF pictures, links, and many more. Similar to Facebook, you can also schedule your post and edit the text format. You can also post links of videos, articles, and many more in the Edmodo class timeline. To post a new assignment to one or more of your classes, click on the class you want to create an assignment on the left panel. Select the Add button. Click Create Assignment from the drop-down menu. Fill out the assignment title and instructions for the assignment. Click Assign to open a pop-up menu to complete the following details before assigning the assignment. Click this one and type in the names of groups or individual students to whom you would like to assign the assignment directly. And then set the due date on the respective date and time boxes. Check the lock after due date box to restrict the students from turning in the assignment after it is due. And then check the Add to Gradebook box to include the student scores in the class or group progress book. And then click Assign to post it in the timeline. Click this icon to open the Edmodo Planner. You can enter some reminders or future plans at this area. And on the other side, these are reminders for you that you've posted quizzes and assignments with deadlines. The planner can also be used in checking the attendance of students. You can allow groups or individual students to view your planner if you will tag them. Students can also create their own planner in their own Edmodo account. To access the Assignments Grading Overview page, click the Turned In button located on the Assignment post or click the Assignment itself from the Assignments tab. You can also click on a notification anytime a student turns in the assignment. The grading overview will automatically sort your student's submissions by what's ready to grade, not turned in, and graded, or you can view all students. 
Underneath its student's name, you will see if they have viewed the assignment from their account. The indicator will be read as viewed or not viewed depending on whether or not the student has opened the assignment. In grading an assignment, click a particular student's row from the Ready to Grade tab to open their submission. Grade the assignment by doing the following. For numerical grade, type the student's grade in the boxes labeled score and total. If you prefer non-numerical grades, you can enter them here as well. The numerator and denominator can be filled with numbers and letters, including pass, late, or incomplete. You can also provide feedback by typing in your comments in the text box to the right of your student's submission and attach a file, link, or library document if necessary. Then click the Add Comment button. Select Save to submit the grade, and do take note that grades will remain editable. When a student's submission gets graded, you can access it from the Graded or All Students tab since it will no longer appear in the Ready to Grade tab. When a comment or a grade is provided, students will receive a notification. You can also update students' numerical grades directly from within the Progress Book. Assignments that are only assigned to individual students will not appear in the progress book. As a workaround, you can grade them using the steps above, then manually add them to the progress book. To request a resubmission, click a particular student's row to open their submission, and then click the Request Resubmission link underneath their grade. Type any instructions or requests for your students in the provided text box, but this is optional. Click Submit Request to send a resubmission request to your student. When a resubmission request is sent, the previous grade for the student is cleared. In grading multiple students at once, first select the students you would like to give the same grade. It can be the entire class, so if it is the entire class, you can check all the students there. If it is for few students, then just choose the students that you would like to give the same grade. Click the blue grade button underneath the Ready to Grade tab and then enter a grade and a total, then click Submit Grades. To request multiple resubmissions at once, first, select the students from whom you would like to request a resubmission from. It can be the entire class or few students, just like what you did in grading multiple students. And then click the white resubmission button underneath the Ready to Grade tab. Type any instructions or requests for your students in the provided text box, but this is optional, and then click Submit Request to send a resubmission request to your students. When a resubmission request is sent, the previous grades from the students are cleared. To make a quiz, select the Add button, and then click Create Quiz. Indicate the title of the quiz and the instructions, but the instruction is optional. Then click the Quiz Questions tab. After that, you can choose the type of test that you want by selecting this button. And, and in the drop-down menu, you can choose the type of test that you want. So there's true or false, multiple choice questions, multiple answers, matching type, and so on. And then take, for example, you chose multiple choice, indicate the question, and you can even attach files, add link, or add materials from the library if it is necessary. And type in the responses. And you have to indicate the correct answer for automated checking. You can also assign the number of points for this particular question. And once it is done, click Assign. So before posting the quiz that you created, Complete the following first. You have to select the class recipient for your quiz, or you can even tag individual students whom you want to take the quiz, and then choose a due date and time for your quiz. Click the lock after due date box, and then set a time limit, but this is optional. You can also click the randomized questions, and then click Add to Gradebook so that there will be automated recording of the scores and click show results to students upon completion for immediate feedbacking and 
click assign. So instantly this will be posted in the timeline of the class. If you send a quiz to your individual students rather than the whole class, the results will not be added automatically to your progress book. You will have to find the quiz results in what's due and then manually enter the scores in your progress book. If you would like a fresh start to an existing group's progress book, you can create a new grading period, which will add a blank sheet for your students' new grades. You have the option to edit, transfer, or add new grades to the previous grading period. To create a new grading period in your gradebook, navigate to the gradebook where you would like to add a new grading period, and then click on the New Grading Period button in the Grading Period section. Your new grading period will appear as an empty progress book and any new grading periods will be available in the Grading Period section above your list of students' names.